So far, this relationship, not going the best. There you are. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. As you saw last time, we started tearing into the Jeep frame, started taking off some bolts, started replacing some stuff, started building some mounts, and things are definitely moving forward. What I'm working on right now is taking off of this here drive shaft because it's slightly, uh, the angle's slightly horrific. Yeah, that's gotta go. machines production we're going to get rid of this disgusting angle and we're also going to remove this differential at least that's what's in the works if you're going to lift your vehicle do not do this see that it completely stops do not do that. it appears that that angle caused the failure of the seals here so the fluid was coming out of the diff and just leaking all over the place and it's looking it's looking nice now it's just time to take a bunch of sockets and the impact and just start going to town trying to get this differential loosened up the only thing is is there's a lot of rust few nuts and bolts off believe it or not now I'm sure a lot of you are asking Dalton why do you use such a small impact gun well the truth is is I started out with this guy this is a craftsman impact and I think the put out on this is like 450 foot pounds of torque I think um, this little guy about half the size half the size he puts out 750 and he, he's just awesome I love him but even he couldn't take off this bolt, those bolts. I didn't attempt to do that one because I didn't hit that with lubricant yet. And a few other nuts and bolts. So now we gotta bring in uh, the, this guy. Is that a nut in there or is that a factory welded on nut? It's so hard to tell. Here's the plan, we're gonna let that stuff sit a little longer, I'm gonna run downtown, wish my brother a happy birthday, wish my brother a happy birthday in the comment section, eat some cake, and then I'll be back up here and we'll crank off some nuts. Get your mind out of the gutter. Look at that! I found that more satisfying than when the thousand degree knife challenge was viral. Now let's see if I can grab a hold of it with these. Just like a bad relationship, when you're sick of putting a lot of energy and effort into it, just, just cut it. And there are some times when you try it again and see if things work out. So far, this relationship, not going the best.
I have this side completely taken apart. Now what I need to do is I need to remove the axle, so I need to get into the differential, pull this axle out so I can get this. Uh, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a dust shield, but it's really really heavy duty. It's, it's probably a dust shield. There are definitely a few things I have to do to the differential to get it down further in order to get it sandblasted. From sandblasted, we'll get it to powder coating. Now, when it comes to powder coating, I need your guys' help. I'm thinking it's going to be, the Jeep is going to be red. It's going to be the same red from factory, it's just going to be redone. However, I'm doing the frame, I'm doing like all these different miscellaneous pieces, things that you won't even see, I'm going to have powder coated. Not a lot of people powder coat frames, a lot of people paint them. So a lot of people would take this and just paint everything black, the differential black, the frame black. And I don't want that. What I'm thinking is I'll go with this red right here. This is like a lollipop red or a, an illusion cherry red. It would have a lollipop red frame, differential, and a lot of other components. If you have any color combinations in mind, please leave them in the comment section below. I would really appreciate them. Any other questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate everything you guys say, except for the haters. You guys can step away from your keyboards at this time. Until next time, stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly, unlike the Jeep at the current moment. Ride, build, be a machine. See you later. Woo!